Hey, it's Devin Dixon with the Fan Sports Network and St. George News here for our Ken Garf, St. George Ford Player Performance Spotlight. Our Player of the Month, Lincoln Markham, Crimson Cliffs. Link, how are you? Thanks for taking some time. Doing good. Thank you so much. First off, let's get to know you a little bit. Uh, when did you first start golfing? I started golfing junior tournaments probably when I was like eight or nine. And the last few years, I've really been picking it up more, playing a lot of events uh, out of the state, in state, lots of stuff here in St. George. Let's talk a little bit about uh, favorite golfer of all time. Is there somebody that you look up to that you like to emulate your swing after? I mean, obviously Tiger. That's probably the obvious choice. He's a great golfer. Love that guy. Um, but I think recently, Will Zalatoris. He's been a, he's been another guy who I'm like, kind of look like him. I met him in an airport a few months ago. Uh, he's got a great swing as well. Let's talk about what's in the bag. Tell everybody what's in the bag. What, what, what's your driver? What's your irons you're playing right now? Uh, pretty much all tailor-made except for my putter. Uh, so all tailor made P770 irons, uh, and then a Scotty Cameron putter. So far, you've already won four high school golf tournaments. But what's your best golf accomplishment? Is it one of the tournament wins this year, or is it something you've already done in the past? I think it's probably my tournament out here last year. It's my low round at the time, and I shot 64 out here, and that, that one was really special. Got to ask you about your teammate, Boston Bracken. He's one of the top juniors in the country. He's getting big time recruits from the Pac-12, the Big 12. Talk to me about that dynamic. How much has he helped you elevate your golf game? Oh, so much. Without him, like I'd still be shooting in the 90s. And I was kind of shocked when he's like, yeah, come play. Like, because I was at such a different level than him. But he's really helped me. He's invited me out to play almost every day, come good friends over the years. Now, I saw on uh, YouTube one of the videos on what's inside. You got to play at Torrey Pines. And I hear you beat Tiger and Phil. You were teamed with, I think it's Jason Cockrack a couple years yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we played in like a farmer's pro-am and we ended up winning the thing, which is cool. Like seeing on the leaderboard, seeing my name and Tiger and Phil and Rory a couple names down. So yeah, that was pretty special. Was that a, a better feeling than uh, winning at, at Green Springs uh, for the second year in a row? Uh, pretty similar, honestly. Um, that was more individual. That was the Farmers is more of like a team event, but yeah, Green Springs is pretty special. I also saw you got to play one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. Yeah, not golf, basketball. I know, but were you more nervous playing Kevin Durant? He was streaming it to all his followers on social media. Was that more nerve-wracking than you standing over a birdie putt to win a tournament? I think so. That that was pretty nerve-wracking, playing to a little bit of basketball with him, and yeah, that was fun. Did you score on him? I did. I ended up scoring on him. He tried to block me, but it was close. What's your pre-round routine before you get ready for a tournament you're an hour there early take me through kind of what you do to get ready to play a tournament uh, I usually go putt for about 15 minutes then go go through all my clubs on the range and then end up putting a little bit more uh, just for my tee time all right love to ask this question you could play in a fantasy foursome with any three golfers any three golfers in the world doesn't it could be pro athletes it could be PGA players it could be live golf players okay. it could be your dad who's your fantasy foursome what are the three guys would you pick um, Probably Tiger, um, Boston Bracken, probably you as well. I'd probably throw you in there. Sorry, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Leslie. I'm, I'm in the fantasy foursome. <laughs> what, be, course, be great foursome. what course would we play at? Probably Augusta. I think that'd be cool. I would say Augusta or Cypress. One of those yeah, two. Cypress is pretty cool. Can you cool pull well. some strings, get us onto one I'll of those try. two I'll courses? Try. <laughs> if I ask Coach Feltz, your high school golf coach at Crimson Cliffs, What's the one thing that you still need to improve upon to take your game to the next level? What would coach say about you? Probably my attitude. I'm a little down on the course sometimes, even if I am playing well. Uh, it tells me to keep my head up a little bit. But yeah, you know, probably just my attitude. We mentioned your dad. You guys done a lot of stuff with your YouTube channel. What's the coolest video you've ever shot? We did this one rubber band ball thing where someone spent like 10 years filling this rubber band ball. It was like 30 pounds. We cut it open. All the rubber bands, because they're so tight over time, they started exploding everywhere, shooting 30 feet up in the sky. And that was, that was pretty cool. Talk to me a little bit about what advice would you give uh, an 8 to 12 year old upcoming golfer that wanted to you know, fall in love with the game? What advice would you give an up and coming junior player? I'd say probably just to find some good friends to, to play golf with. and. Um, that typically are, I mean, for me, they were all better than me. And because they were all better than me, I tried to work harder so I could get, try to get up to their level. Lincoln Markham, our Ken Gar Ford Performance Player of the Month. Link, it's been a pleasure, man. Best of luck the rest of the season. We'll see you around the golf course. Thanks so much for having me. All right, Devin Dixon with you here on stgeorgenews.com.